when your father and I started this winery 35 years ago, we didn't have two nickels to rub together. So you're the Dume bride, the one who owns all that wine. Yes, I am. You come up with a price, I'll buy you out. The important thing is that you know how much I love you. I just wanted to tell you how much I love your wine. The body is just exquisite. Yes, it is. Thank you. It's kind of like the Mick Jagger of fermentation, isn't it? <laughs> you think I'd be used to it by now? Did they have a fight? Constance was very close to my wife. The shipments were like family to us. She didn't even know Constance. I'm sure she was just here to pay her respects. There's nothing respectful about that woman. What are you doing here? I'm here for my interview. You didn't forget. Oh, please. She shows up looking like something out of a Victoria's Secret catalog. She can't stop talking about grapes. Trust me, the woman is a gold digger. She's looking for more than just a job. I say, if it makes him happy, good for him. We need to find a way to expose her to him before this thing goes too far. Thank you for being so gracious. Now back off before you get hurt. Are you threatening me? Absolutely. Oh, I can't believe you scared me like that. What brings you out of Camelot? I want to see what you can find out about this woman. Arabella Stone. So you and I are so different after all. Are we? Rich girl goes to France to buy some grapes and comes back with a husband. Dale, tell me. Don't. Well, all I'm saying is I could do a two for one. What do you really know about him? That I love him. You have the look of a jealous man. If Freddie lost the winery, it might knock her down a peg. Maybe even into your class. You shut up. Stop it! Help me, please. Somebody's in my house. You went up there to accuse him of murder. And there's no proof. You said yourself you couldn't identify your assailant. I won't let you die! No! Uh, oh. Trust me! You married and buried another woman, and you didn't feel the need to tell me about it? He's threatening me. I am not about to let some low-life loser destroy everything I've worked for. I know all about the kind of work you do. And I gotta make sure Freddie knows, too. She's also been arrested a few times. Listen, Freddie, you better be careful. She knows how to find a good lawyer. You know I'll do whatever I have to do. You better. I find it incredibly insulting that you assume all Arabella's after is my money. Arabella's not even her real name. I'm on to you, Jackie Rust. Are you spying on me? No, I, I just saw the light. I've known all about your disgusting behavior. Lillian, fire her. I'm not gonna just fire her for no reason. I have a reason. I don't like her. What you gonna do? Kill the whole deal because of your pride? Oh, baby, I killed a lot more than that because of my bride. No wonder your wife killed herself. <laughs> Mr. Shipman is being arrested under suspicion of murder. He was already under investigation for the murder of his wife. Thomas, I promise I'll find the truth. You want the truth? Look in your own backyard. Damn. He just happened to show up in the nick of time. Be careful, Freddy. He's not what you think he is. I'm not sure I understand your question, Freddy. Are you asking me if I married her for her money or killed her for it? You think I followed you up there and tried to kill you? I don't know what to think anymore. The truth is, I am a bit of a fraud. But you're not getting a dime from this winery. We'll see. All right. I'll leave it alone. <laughs>